You're watching New York One News All Day. I'm Adam Malkin. Coming up, a laptop you can control hands-free just with your eyes. This is the New York Living Tech Beat. I'm Adam Malkin. It's a technology you have to see to believe. In fact, you have to see it, look at it to make it work. A laptop with eye tracking technology built in so that you can do certain things like control this asteroids type game, blow up the asteroids just by looking at them. The eye tracking system was developed by Toby Technology, built into a Lenovo computer. Generally speaking, what happens with the technology is this process called corneal reflection. So there are two infrared lights and they are illuminating the eye. And we take the retinal reflection and the glint in the eye and simultaneously we take images with two cameras at a rate of between 30 and 40 images a second of both eyes. We build a three-dimensional model of the eye and we always know where you're looking. They may be thinking, okay, this is great for someone who may have lost use of their hands, but this is actually designed for everyone and not really to replace the mouse and the keyboard, but more as a supplement to the mouse and the keyboard. Certain actions like having the text scroll as you're reading or navigating through special menus like the toolbar at the bottom or this one on the side can replace the keyboard or mouse temporarily, but many of the applications do require you to touch something else, either a keyboard button or a mouse button, to make it work. That way the computer doesn't act like it has a mind of its own when you're simply looking around the screen. So for example, no more hunting for your little cursor on the screen. Just look where you want to click, click the mouse, and there it is. For engineers or architects analyzing detailed digital models, again, they just have to look at the spot they'd like to zoom in on and That's click the mouse to make it happen. Yeah, okay. Another place this computer might come in handy, hospitals. When you're a doctor doing surgery or you might happen to be a dentist and you have a, a, a sterile environment so you don't want to touch anything with your hands, but you need to look uh, at the, you know, an x-ray or an image of somebody. Developers say this technology should be available to buy within just the next couple of years when they expect it'll become smaller and not add too much to the price of the computer to dissuade people from choosing it as an added option. Adam Balkin, New York One.